Hi, Ulf here, and welcome back to Learning Internet of Things. Before we dive into the news subject, let's discuss what we talked about last week. Last week's post showed how a computer with another computer's address can access information from that computer using an HTTP request. Now I want to show you how the World Wide Web works. Servers can give you web pages that contain links to web pages that live in another server. So if all of the servers contain links to other servers, by starting with one link, you can find all of them. You might not have time for this, but search engines do. And this is why you always go to the search engine website and search through their entire public registries where they have actually listed all of the websites that they have found. But search engines can't help you access computers that are not registered in the World Wide Web. Your computer and my computer, for example. If we want to establish a communication connection, we would first need to get to know each other and then exchange email addresses. Well, the same thing is true for the devices that make up the Internet of Things. If they're supposed to be able to mingle with each other and establish connections, they need some type of protocol. Well, this protocol is called the Universal Plug and Play Protocol. UPnP lets a computer send out a message to all the other computers in a local network. The other devices that are seeking to establish connections with this camera will do so. Once the camera has sent back the description of its web services, the connection has been established. So where do we go from here? Well, we can create a smart home now with abilities that are only limited by our imagination. But this protocol can also be limited by other things, such as a restricted bandwidth as well as a firewall. And that is going to be the topic of next week. Thank you for watching. I'm Ulf, and I'll see you next time.